PlayStation 5 Remote Play. We're going to show you how to download it, set it up, and possibly get it working and how to use, utilize it properly with OBS. See you in a second. Okay, so on to the first part of this. We are going to have to first set up the PlayStation to be able to accept uh, remote connections. And to do that, we're going to go into settings, go down to system, and then we're going to go down to remote play. Yours may not be on, so you'll have to check mark this box to enable remote play. So when we go back and we start the remote play app, we'll be able to find our PlayStation. Okay, so now that we got our PlayStation set up, we can go ahead and go over to the website and download the actual app so you can play your PlayStation remotely. After we do this, we'll get into a couple more tips and tricks that you can do if you're running OBS or you're doing content creation or you're playing games or anything like that. So where you can uh, take your PlayStation and stream it over to a secondary computer and you can use your, uh, your mic like this or, or an external mic that's hooked up your computer and all that good stuff. Um, and you won't have to worry about using the headset stuff. So if you're not interested in that part, go ahead and flip past it. Uh, timestamps in the description, all that good stuff. So let's get on to this part. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down. The website right here is gonna be in the description or you can just Google, you know, PlayStation Remote Play or whatever. Um, we're gonna scroll all the way down. At the bottom, you'll see three options. Android smartphone and tablets, that's to download from your Android, iPhone, iPad, obviously for your iPhone or iPad, and then Windows, PC, and Mac. Um, this is this is kind of weird. It's got two buttons right here. It says that using PlayStation controllers on PC and Mac, and then a Windows, PC, and Mac download. You can already use the PlayStation controller for PC and Mac. I don't know why they did an uh, individual button for this, but just, you can go ahead and just click on this one right here. It does the same thing. And then we'll go to... This page, you'll have uh, two options, whether you want to control your PS5 or your PS4 with remote play. <clears throat> we are on a Windows PC, so we're going to go with Windows, but you do give the option of Mac, you know, mobile devices, uh, PlayStation 5 console from a PlayStation 5 console. It's kind of weird. I don't know why you would want to do that. Control your PC, PlayStation 5 from a PlayStation 4, and then same thing on the other one. So we're on a Windows PC. We're going to go ahead and click this one. It'll give you all the specs you need to download it and whatnot. You can look over this if you want. Um, they're relatively low specs anyway. We're going to scroll down here to install the app, and you have to check mark this I agree to SIE, the end user's license agreement and privacy policy, and just go ahead and click download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and run it. Go OK. Next. Install. And then launch remote play. And close this out. Let me make this screen bigger here really quick. Okay, so obviously I've already done this and it's got my PlayStation on here, but uh, more than likely when you first do it, you're going to come up with a screen that looks like this, where it's got your, um, what do you want to connect to? You want to connect to a PlayStation 5 or you want to connect to a PlayStation 4. Make sure that they're on the same network, but um, so we're doing a PlayStation 5. We're going to go and click on PlayStation 5. It'll tell you to do the, the the same thing that we did at the beginning where you have to enable remote play on your PlayStation. That's why I did this first. So we're, we're already back past this part. Go ahead and click OK. And then it'll search the network for your PlayStation. Once it finds it, it'll automatically connect to it, as you can see. And now you're connected. You can play it remotely. OK, so we're going to hop into uh, part two of this. OK, so. Now that we've got this up and going, I want to show you these buttons down here at the bottom. So this one right here is an inner and an exit of full screen, right? This right here, this button is a mic button that allows you to use your own mic. Like let's say you have an external mic um, and you want to use it like, like the beacon mic right here. Um, I can use that to talk to my friends or, or in game chat or whatever for the PlayStation. So you don't need to actually, you don't actually have to have anything hooked up to the PlayStation. And I don't know about you, but this thing right here, this Elgato chat link pro thing where you had to hook it up to a controller and then hook it up to a computer and then hook it up, you know, all the wires things. If you've been watching the channel for a minute, you know, I don't like wires. 
Um, but if you're going to use a capture card, this is probably a good way to do it. Um, you could hook your PlayStation up to the capture card and then the capture card into your computer. So where you're capturing uh, the, the, the video and you're pushing all of your audio through HDMI and then this right here. And if you're, if you're, if you've got to pass through to your TV or your computer monitor screen, whatever you're doing, you can actually have it. So where you're watching the game on the monitor and playing it while you're capturing, it's, 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 a, it's a really weird, really weird setup. But um, anyway, <clears throat> it's right here is the option button. You have your PlayStation button. It's where you can get the PlayStation up. And then you have your take, take your screenshots. If you go back to the website, uh, you can go and you can see, where's it at? The buttons, what the buttons do and how to do the buttons, stuff like that are right here. But if you wanna, if you wanna use this with OBS, we'll go ahead and open up OBS. And you can just, you can do a, a display capture. So where it's, it's capturing that window, right? Notice that it's got that in the background, the PlayStation. You can do it that way. Where all of your audio is coming through, there's no need, no need for extra cables or anything like that. It would just come through because all of your audio is being played through remote play and it's coming directly to your PC. All of your PC sounds are used to collect the audio, um, no more of that. Like I said, no more of that capture card stuff. You're going to use the capture card. I mean, you can get into a really convoluted path of uh, capture card and how to make it work and whatnot. Anyway, or you can do a window capture. And you can go to PS Remote Play. It may not work the first time, but we'll go walk you through that. We want to do Windows 10, 1903 and up, so it'll capture this. And there you go. And then you can just, you know, expand it out. This is a window capture. So it's kind of going to be a little bit wonky. And the transforming and the edit transforming doesn't doesn't really do anything to help you out here. So I would just go with the uh, display. And just to show you, um, we'll go ahead and, and do an audio capture here really quick. <clears throat> so it's, it's capturing the... Um, It's capturing the 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 all of the all of the system audio, right? You can see that it's moving. You have to hook your controller up to your computer to play this way. So we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna show you that the audio does come through. And we'll go ahead and start a game really quick. As you can see, you can hear the sound right now. It's pushing it all through the computer. My PlayStation is not hooked up to any any audio other than the remote play. It's not hooked up to my computer, through any capture card, nothing. It's just hooked up through remote play. So it all comes through the computer. You can hook it to a capture card if you want. Um, but I mean, I would just say, just use the capture card for like, uh, to, to split the video to maybe one to go to your computer, right? Or, 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 or TV or whatever you're, you're actually using to watch the gameplay. Relatively simple simple video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, tips, tricks, all that good stuff, um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, all of the information will be in the description for websites and whatnot. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one.